is up, dudes? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. We are currently, as you probably just seen, we are driving across the lake right now. We're on Lake Winnebagosh, but we're leaving this lake. I just spent a New Year's Eve weekend here with uh, some friends. And yeah, we're getting off this lake and we're heading to Red Lake because I'm going to Lake of the Woods in like two days and I don't want to go all the way home. So because Lake of the Woods is way closer to here than my house. So we're gonna go hang out at Red Lake for a, a night or two and just get myself in today's video on a little solo mission. But yeah, stay tuned. Should be a good time. I think I might stop at a grocery store if I see one because I don't have any food. And yeah, this video might be kind of all over passing this guy. I don't know if you're supposed to pass people on the ice, but man, I've been doing it my whole life. <laughs> all right, stay tuned, y'all. We'll see ya. We have made her off the lake. In 2.2 miles, turn left onto State Highway 46. Ah, uh, cool. She's gonna smoke out. Fuck a motherfucker. Continue up. onto State Highway 1. Then turn left onto US 71. Little bummed out, y'all. I just made it to the road to JR's corner. I didn't pass a freaking grocery store. I stopped in the biggest town, which like, or the biggest town that I passed through, which was Kellerder, and all they had was like a big gas station. So no groceries. I'm sure, I'm gonna be able to catch some walleyes and stuff to eat, and I do have like some munchies and stuff from last trip. But man, I got some kick-ass venison bacon that I really wanted to make a BLT. Uh, I got bread, so maybe I'll ask the bar uh, at JR's if they have some lettuce and tomato. But if not, I'm sure, once again, we'll catch some walleyes. The famous JR's Corner. I just made her on to the ice. Didn't film anything, but stopped at the bar, got a nice burger, got a nice hot shower, got a somewhat of a new change of clothes. We're on our way out on the ice to meet up with a buddy to bring me to my shack, or show me where my shack is. five miles I have made her to this Trump sign this is where I'm supposed to meet somebody I don't know who but throw her in park and now we wait we're good six man yeah we are on our way to the house have arrived to the fish house. I tell y'all what, probably not gonna be able to find my way back to the access because we are far out here. Holy buckets. All right, stay tuned. Let's go check out the house quick, I guess. Then I'm gonna load it all up and whatnot. Oh man, it is cold. I hope it's nice and warm in here. I don't think there's propane. Oh, it's freaking hot. Oh, foot right in the slush. Yeah! Stay tuned, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead, load all of my stuff in here, just so that I literally have everything. I don't need this. Stay tuned! Oh, yeah. Ow! Officially dialed y'all. Just put a bait down this hole and I'm marking a fish. I'm pretty sure it's a walleye. Whoa. That was fast. I'm not sure this camera could pick it up either, but I'm marking a ton of bait, which is usually good. Anyway, so let's give you guys a little tour of the house for those of you that haven't seen these houses yet. Already got the crocs on too. 
by the way. For those of you that are new here and haven't seen my videos before, or haven't seen me out on Red Lake before, check out these massive houses from uh, JR's Corner. Really quick, too, before we go any further, I gotta give a huge shout out to JR's Corner for allowing me to come out here and hang out for a few days. Anyways, let's give you a little tour quick. Here's where I'm gonna be chilling pretty much this whole video. Got my sleeping bag out. Like I mentioned, I already got a rod down. Uh, all I got is a little jig head with just like a tiny little fat head on there. Got the Vexlar down. Got all my cooking stuff here. More cooking stuff. Got my power supply. All of JR's houses come with these badass stove tops, which is really nice. I always travel with like my little Coleman and I got a jet boil and another little burner, but it's always nice just to use these when you're out in these houses. Got some munchies and stuff down here, but yeah, that's basically my little kitchen area. Another just massive <laughs> shout out to JR's. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I didn't get to go to a grocery store. And another thing I remembered that I forgot was grease. So JR himself actually went back to the kitchen and grabbed this whole j freaking jug of grease for me to use out here. So... Huge shout to JR's. Just like every time I make a video out here, uh, I gotta I gotta say, y'all, if any of you guys are coming out to Red Lake and not going through JR's, what are you doing? They're the best resort out here. Best houses, awesome people, and if you're lucky, they'll freaking hook you up with some grease, maybe. Over here, we got a very hot heater. I actually need to turn it down. As you can see, I'm not even wearing my hoodie. I am freaking sweating out here and it's on two anyways bitching heater here got a little bit of storage up here and thing to hang stuff from and two bunks here like i mentioned this is a six person house so there's two bunks here also and i believe this house has 10 holes one two three <laughs> yeah 10 holes but in minnesota uh legally you can only have two lines of peace so i only got i only got that hole over here and I got this hole open. And off camera, I did go ahead right when I got in here. And I set up this rattle reel with just a fat head on there. So yeah, we got two lines soaking. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm solo out here, so I'm just going to be freaking chilling. Relaxing. Hopefully catching some fish. Uh, I don't have anything to eat tonight. So I, I think I kind of need to catch at least like one fish or two fish. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's hopefully catch a fish. Come on. Well, I already got music going. Have missed two, f well, not missed. I've marked two fish so far. Neither of them bit me. I need some water. Ready to hook my line. Oh, shit. You know, how did I know that this thing was gonna be the first thing to go off? Oh, no. Minnow's still good. I'm pretty sure that was a perch. I felt it. Like, right when I picked up the line, it was just kind of tick, 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 tick. Dang, I think took out some line, though. False alarm. I knew that was going to go off, though. I was even looking at this thing, and the line was just going like this and whatnot. new fish and more merch well kind of new anyways go check it out i'm not wearing it though i'm wearing this one damn i'm not gonna cap though that looks clean go check out your tackles merch too hey you know what really quick y'all i feel like i should mention this uh speaking of euro tackle i got like a badass bait coming from euro tackle or like i collabed with euro tackle and created a bait that is stellar i think i've only mentioned it like one time in one tackle unboxing video i did like a month ago but me and euro tackle joined forces and we created a bait together that oh, it's gonna just absolutely crush i can't tell you exactly what it is but it's just a sexy little uh, soft plastic lure and it's gonna <clears throat> It's going to be like the hot new bait in 2023, let me tell you. This thing's going to be catching some fish. Basically what I did was just combined my two favorite baits and put them together. I've actually put it in a few videos, like secretly, like or I've just been using it in videos and haven't really mentioned anything about it. None of y'all have called me out on it yet. But it's already been crushing a ton of fish this winter and a little bit last winter even. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Stay tuned. It's going to be coming out like pretty, pretty quick here. And when it does come out, you better go get some quick because I'm sure they're not going to last long. I think we're only doing like 
the first drop, I think we're only doing like six to eight different colors. And I don't really have an exact number, but it's not like a, a metric shit ton. So yeah, get them while they're hot. I'm sure too, like when we do launch them, I'll make another video for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. Stay tuned. Coming out shortly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no fooling. Freaking jumbo. I'm eating you, bud. All right, we got them unhooked, and I'm eating them. I mean, that's like a perfect eater, but I want to see how big he is. Nose touching. Got about ten and a half inch. Not too shabby. First fish of the trip. That's a pale guy. Wow. That hole should be blocked. I'm just going to keep him right there. We got the minnows in the bucket and this hole just to keep them nice and cold so they don't die and whatnot. All right. We got some type of food. Cool. Well, yo. Yeah. The sun is pretty much down. It like just got past the trees, but it's really gloomy out, so looks even darker than it is. Still no walleyes, but one would say right now is about prime time for walleyes, so we need one. Oh, 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 he's going to do it. Come on. You got it. Here, walleye. Maybe. It might be tiny. Oh, my lantern. That's freaking tiny, and he didn't even eat it. Look at that. I freaking snagged him. I assume he came and pressed it down to bottom. Too small. I'm gonna let this guy go. I heard if he stays... Okay. I was gonna say, I heard if he stays in the hole, we can keep him, but he swam away. Hey, that was an aggressive walleye. That, that thing was aggressive. That's what I'm using, by the way, in case you're curious. Alright, got a new minnow on, sending her down. What time check for you is? It's 5.18 p.m. It's like almost complete darkness already. It's not looking good. We really need a walleye. We do have some good news, though. Uno momento. I totally forgot. I had venison, little little venison steaks in my cooler. So yeah, we do have venison steak, but I re I really would like one more fish. It'd be super cool to have a little surf and turf out here, but I, I know it's hard to just clean one perch. I'd clean two perch, or a perch and a walleye. We we need to catch a walleye. Yes. Please be there. No way. No way. Unbelievable. Dude, freaking cat, a walleye looked up and the big camera is freaking off. But we did it. We did it! I'm pretty bummed and pumped at the same time. We got enough to eat, but didn't get it on camera. That is a freaking perfect eater, though. Rough estimate. 13 incher? <laughs> I wouldn't say perfect eater. Maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe 15 incher would be about perfect eater, but not bad on the jig. Yeah. We've officially got ourselves. Two fish, one perch, one walleye, and two deer steaks. We got a pretty good, we got a pretty good supper, I'd say. Let me drop this jig back down there, obviously. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I got him. Instant. Instant, instant, instant. No way. Trapped in the deucer. <laughs> No way! How lucky is that? Freaking sloppy, but let's go! Two walleyes in a row on the jig. On freaking real. Hell yeah, well now we got two walleyes, one perch, two pieces of steak. We did it. 
Let's go. Now that right there is a perfect eater. A little bit bigger than that last one. He ain't even going to fit in there, I don't think. We got an awesome supper, though. There you go. Yes, sir. Another walleye. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Let's just mark him one over here, too. Nice walleye. He's going to go back. Bye, buddy. I had to let that guy go quick because I can legally only keep one more fish. And I'd like to save that for, like, maybe a big one or save it for tomorrow or... I don't know. Pretty much catch and release it now since we got them three. Tell you what, though. The last two minutes, I've marked, like, four or five fish. It's getting hectic. All right, y'all. We got the old fish cleaning station set up. We got rid of this hole and that jig and rod, and I went ahead and set another rattle reel here just for while I'm cooking. I'm going to go ahead and get right into these walleyes, and I'm not going to go too in-depth. So just enjoy this little time lapse of me flaying these suckers. Got our two walleyes and perch all cleaned up, y'all. Got our venison here. I need some paper towels. We're gonna get this venison all seasoned up and get this fish all chunked up. We're gonna get some grease going, y'all. fish I want to fry in a pot so that I have enough room up here to cook my steak. Get that going. <laughs> Get her a box of grease. And then for the steak, this is this little pan. There we go. All right, stay tuned, guys. That grease will be nice and hot in no time. In case y'all are wondering what batter we're going with today, just some regular Cajun batter, and then I'm going to take a little bit of Traeger Fin and Feather. Yeah. Get some of that in there. Watch that good stuff. All right, check this grease. Ooh, is the grease ready? Let's find a little piece to throw in. Oh, yes, sir. Get them in the grease. I'm going for two tablespoons. That's about a three. First batch of fish. Coming off. Let me go ahead and get these little big chunks in here too. I'm going to get the second batch on. Oh! Hot! Alright, let's get the rest of these in here. Ooh, look at that walleye wing. Oh, wow, I just left that open. Check that out, y'all. We got some tartar sauce. Ooh. That looks good. Just in. This is doing good, too. Batch number two is coming off. And the steak is pretty much looking done, too. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm about to feed. The moment of truth, y'all. Woo! Still pretty hot. Let's see how we did on the steak. 
steak looks man a little bit a little bit too done definitely a little bit too done for my liking but really bombshell mm. like really bombshell this one's bigger i bet you this one will be better all right i'm gonna make a plate cut this up See in a bit. Well, didn't have a plate, so I just threw everything on this cutting board. Oh, and I'm gonna smash over here. We got ourselves, obviously, we got ourselves some tartar sauce for the fish. And then for this steak, I was right too. This other one was done a little bit better. Bussin and juicy. Mm, I don't even, I honestly don't even know if that needs this, but. We got some Traeger Q too, if you're feeling spicy. Oh, there it is. Surf and turf, baby. Somewhere in here, right here, we got ourselves a little perch wing. I don't know if I've ever had a perch wing. I took the wings out of the walleyes, so figured I'd take it out of the perch too. See how it is. Bon. Walleye wing next. Double bomb. Going in for a triplet. Three some. Wings are my favorite. All right, stay tuned, y'all. I am going to absolutely destroy this. <clears throat> Maybe I'll catch a fish or something while I'm doing that. Well... We were able to take down all the steak. We were not able to take down all the fish yet. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I'm so full. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to clean this stuff up. I might rip some tea in a little bit. That might sound fuego. Yeah, we didn't finish all of our fish, so we'll just let that sit there. I love cold fish, so I almost guarantee that it'll be eight by tomorrow morning. Well, y'all. We got our mess all cleaned up. Almost got the fish all cleaned up too. <laughs> but I think it is time to rip a little bit. Of, a little bit of tea. Bam. Oh, five minutes that's gonna be buzzing totally forgot y'all i didn't pack any cups so i'm gonna have to make one you can go ahead cue the trailer park boys music right now Cold water. Oh, come on. Grab some cold water. Oh, look, it melted the cup. Good thing I poured that cold water. It's hot as shit still. Little update, y'all. Currently sitting here. Drinking some tea. Just had a freaking walleye come up to this rattle reel, but denied it. And I'm just sitting here eating some Starburst that I forgot that I bought at the bar. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to listen to some music, eat some more Starbursts, and just hang out. Oh, my God. 
Good Lord, I'm a professional. Little update, y'all. I turned off this light and the light over there and just have the middle light on just to see if that makes any difference in the fish biting, but I'm not even really marking any. Anyways, I'm about to throw on a little jammies. For those of you following along with the videos and want a little update on the tattoo, it's pretty much all healed up. Ooh, I'm dry right now, but it is badass. Oh, stay tuned, y'all. Once again, just chilling on my third cup of tea. Would really like a bite soon here. Stay tuned if we get one. It's gonna be sick. Oh yeah. It smells nice. Oh, what? <laughs> That's a freaking tank golden eye. It's a golden eye, right? Holy crap. That thing's badass. Holy crap. Oh, chill. Look at that. Holy buckets. That is such a cool fish. My buddy. Wow. That's like the third golden eye I think I've ever gotten. That's cool. Two here at Red Lake and one at a river somewhere. Yeah. Got him. That's a walleye. Oh. Yeah. Look at that, bud. You can get yourself a free lunch. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Things are freaking happening. Little update, y'all. Currently 11.30. Perfect timing. <laughs> Haven't seen a fish on the graph or had a rail reel go off in a good hour now. So I think I'm finally about to shut off the lights and maybe hit the A, I think. Or at least, like, dink around my phone a little bit till I fall asleep. But yeah, if a rail reel goes off, which hopefully it will, I ain't got nothing to do all night. <laughs> I'll, uh, take out the phone. I'll show you guys. Hey, night. Night. Holy crap! Look at that one. That's a freaking damn nice walleye, y'all. I think it's like one in the morning. Let's let this guy go. Let this guy grow. Sorry. Thirty. This rattle reel. That's just going off. Oh no! Damn it! Right, stay tuned, y'all. Get that beta back up. Probably pass out again. I'm whooped and tired. Little update for y'all. Currently seven fifty-three. After that last rattle reel, I decided to pick up the rattle reel and put the dead stick down. I thought the walleyes were going to be chewing because when that rattle reel went down, the sun like literally just came up. But that was about a half an hour ago. Haven't marked another fish since. I'd be marking one right now though. Definitely something on bottom. Anyway, stay tuned y'all. I'm going to try to catch a fish on the rod. That other rattle reel is still down too, so maybe we can get one on there. Another little time check for y'all. Currently 
30, just about. And my god dang graph died. I got it plugged in right here. So, we ended up putting back out the rattle reel. But anyways, y'all, I think we're gonna end this video here. If we're talking fishing, that was probably like the most action I've had in a while. We even caught like a freaking 22 incher last night. That was badass. One more time, gotta give the biggest shout out to JR's Corner. They are freaking pimps. If any of y'all are coming out to Red Lake, make sure to go through JR's Corner. I am gonna be chilling in this fish house like all day, but I'm going to, I think I'm gonna edit this video while I'm out here because I doubt y'all really wanna see another Red Lake video. And then yeah, I'm gonna be going to Layla Woods tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, so. Stay tuned for that video, and uh, I think that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, like it, go share it, smash that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. New Fish More merch, if you guys haven't checked that out, you can just scroll down, it's in the link in the description, or sometimes it'll just be there, like at the bottom of the video, which is kind of weird, I don't even know how that happens. I think that's it. Love y'all, thanks for watching, peace out.